Good morning, everyone. It is day three. I am leaving Hawk right now. It's 8 15, so about an hour later than yesterday. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I know today is pretty strenuous on the uh, elevation changes, so we'll see. I'm already out of breath. Um, so last night, apparently there was like tons of mice in the shelter. Two guys stayed there. And there was tons of mice near the bear box. But my food is fine, so I'm Gucci. So I'm pretty sure coming out of Hawk, it's like a descent into maybe Horse Gap, High Tower Gap, one of those gaps. Um, and then we go back up, and then we go to the other gap, so we go back down to the other gap, and then we go up, um, Sassafras, and then go back down to Cooper's Gap, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, and then after that, I don't know what, what's up ahead, um, as far as hiking goes, um, I could check my gut hooks when I get to Cooper's Gap. But that's like the first four miles of the day. I just hope I don't see a bear again today. Alright, we are at High Tower Gap. Um, took me about 15 minutes to get down here. Um, I'm just stopping now, drink a little water. About to head up. Wow, that was a bad angle, sorry. I'm about to head up whatever mountain this is. I don't know. Um, and then we go back down into Horse Gap, I guess. And then after that, I die on Sassafras. No bears so far. Now I just gotta figure out where the trail is. I think it's that one. it going up so one thing I will say um, about hiking um, at this time of year so July it's nice to see all the pretty trees and flowers and whatnot but it is very painful having to run up the hill to get away from these terrified of getting some buddies. Um, I also wanted to say I like getting up early to hike um, because it's less hot, but the problem is when you're one of the first people to go out, you catch all the spike webs. Oh, it's rough. Also, when I came here in March, I feel like I would have been able to see through these trees. Alas, I cannot right now. All right, just got out of horse gap, so now I'm doing my favorite mountain, Sassafras Mountain. I think that's what it's called. Um, two guys that I was hiking with earlier, one of them said he saw a bear back on the last one before the last gap. I'm just trying to be vigilant. So, I should probably put my camera away. I feel like I'm at where uh, Sven's family lives, the troll family with all the rocks behind me. 
So on gut hooks, there says there's supposed to be a view, and I think that's supposed to be it, and I don't see anything. Maybe it's further up, but... So I walked up a little bit further, and look what I found. Can't even really see it. So I walked up even further, like maybe 20 steps further, and I found a way better view. So I think this is the one gut hooks this time. Although I haven't been able to see many views because of the tree coverage, um, I am happy I did get to hike this part of the trail again because I didn't see that view last time. I made it to the top of Sassafras. You see that? Right there, it's starting to go down. And I remember this log. I remember people sitting on it when we came through last time. Cheyenne and Danny, you remember that? When it was raining. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna stay too long because uh, I don't want any bears to get me. All right, so I made it to Cooper's Gap. Um, going up Sassafras wasn't as hard this time as last time, and I think it was one because I took a break because it wasn't raining. <laughs> And two, it wasn't as cold, so it just wasn't as tiring, I guess. I don't know, and I'm in better shape. Um, but, ooh, but everything from here on out is new for me. I haven't seen any of it, so I don't know. My feet are pretty tired. I might chill here for a bit. The bugs don't seem to be too bad, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know, I don't have that much water, so I can't really make lunch here. I don't know, we'll see. Just had a nice little lunch at just this creek. I would highly suggest stopping there for lunch or breakfast or whatever, dinner um, on your hike if you can. Cute area, nice of lot of flat ground if you like sit down and whatever. Um, not a lot of trees to sit on, like logs, but you can definitely um, bring a sit pad or just sit on the ground. So very cute. Um, headed up to Gooch. I think I have about a mile, over a mile left. Um, maybe like 1.3, so. Alright, I made it to Gooch Shelter. Um, honestly, I like don't know where to camp. All the tent sites kind of look crummy. They just all look really rocky. And so I'm just like, I don't know which one to pick. I know there was two guys that I was um, eating lunch with earlier. And I think they said they're going to stop in here. And they might keep going to Woody. Depending on what time they get here. I might go with them. I don't know. I need to look at gut hooks. Because <sighs> like I might go there and it might be even worse. I just don't know. And I heard the privy here is pretty gross. I haven't checked it out yet, but I heard like a few days ago it was pretty full, so I don't know. Also, I will say the shelter seems a lot nicer than the one at Hawk. Hawk smelled like pee, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know how those two guys stayed in it last night. Nasty. Maybe I end up staying in the shelter tonight. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't, though. Because I toss and turn a lot. Last night it was pretty hot. So I feel like if I stay in the shelter, 
I'm going to be like tossing and turning and like pulling my blanket off, putting it back on. And if I'm staying in the shelter, then ooh, I'm going to be touching the floor. And that's kind of gross. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Alright, it is about 6 o'clock at night. There is um, a father, daughter, and a um, mother, son that I can't put his last name at the shelter as well. I don't think anyone else is staying. The two other guys that I was hanging with earlier decided to push on to the camp. Um, Thank you.